So let's add another object into our animation. Uh, take a rectangle this time. And on this one, let's move it from this side along to the left hand end. But instead of making it run over the full two seconds, let's just make it run over one second. So it will go through a few of these frames. So if I select it this time and run it forward, there are 10 frames currently. So let's move it through five of these frames. So it will then appear in these first few and then stop. So if I select this one and move it to here, what will happen now is that as I preview it, let's take it back to the beginning, if I preview it, our ball goes bouncing and the rectangle moves along, but then it disappears. Uh, if I want that to stay at the other end, uh, you might be able to work out what I'm going to do. I'm going to select this frame, select this object, and run it forward to the end of the storyboard, uh, and then just not move it. So at this point, it should stay there all the way through. So if I preview it now, it will move along and then just stay there. Uh, one other change you can make, not just moving uh, left to right or bouncing or that sort of thing, is if I select this object, I can actually rotate it. So I rotate it through approximately 90 degrees. Uh, there we go. Uh, what it should do now is move from right to left. Uh, and then when it gets there for the second second of the animation, it should then rotate. So let's have a look at that. There we go. So we've got a couple of different sorts of motion going on there uh, in our two second animation.